Hello there, welcome back to the Old Golden Black. And I thought I'd do this little video, just, I don't know, maybe some of you are interested in it, maybe not, but um, this sort of like behind the scenes look at my YouTube channel and the setup and stuff, and just talk you through some of the things that are in the background of the channel that perhaps you may be interested in, in seeing. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that's very, very obvious. And also perhaps just talk you briefly through my process of how I work. On YouTube. First part that I'll show you is my sort of live stream setup. I've done a live stream today, just been practicing with some new software, and this is how it works. So basically, there's my little webcam. Uh, I think it was, was it Logitech. Let's just zoom in on that for you. Logitech uh, thing. Then I've got a nice little uh, light ring, which I'll show you now, so that um, you can see me nice and clearly. So often, well, let's just pop that off, save on the electric. And then for my normal videos, I'll put my camera on here and use that light. So the light is not coming from directly behind, but I have put the uh, the camera on there in the past as well. And I've got a microphone, which is hooked onto the uh, bookcase there, which I can swing round. So you can't see it, but it sits there while I sit in my seat there. Then over here, this has been in the background of my videos recently. This is my wall of tickets from the last two years. Uh, well, just over two years. This, I think this is the earliest ticket that I've got on here, or the earliest two. I just found these in a coat pocket recently. I've got Chelsea uh, in the FA Cup and then Leeds in uh, the Championship Easter Monday two years ago. So then these were all of the Championship ones from this uh, from last season and the League Cup games everyone that I went to. Obviously these are the two the two big ones, Middlesbrough and uh, Cardiff around about Easter time last year, tremendous games. The story behind that one, uh, they had Cardiff had the same tickets the year before and I'd been to that game and I had, I can't remember the player I had on it, but we had three tickets and two of them had this old player on and the other one had this one and the reason I had that one is because we lost that game so I thought that I'd choose a different one, uh, and it worked. So then that's the last championship game, Sunderland, and then the first Premier League way day at Leicester, and then, of course, we've got all the other ones from the rest of this season here, and hiding away at the bottom, the FA Cup semi-final ticket there. This little thing here uh, was given to me by one of the children that I teach. There's a few things here from children that I have taught, these two here, this teddy was given to me by one of the children that I taught last year. And this was given to me by a little girl who came from China and was in my class last year. Couldn't speak a word of the Queen's when she came, but by the time she left, she was uh, pretty good. Pretty good. So yeah, she gave me that as a present. It's a lovely, lovely little case as well. The front, lovely. Portuguese dictionary, obviously, for when I meet Nuno and we go through tactics. This uh, was from about seven years ago now, it's from when I raised uh, about £200 for Movember back in 2012. And in this little box is a little memento. You may have noticed it in some of the backgrounds of my videos last year. It's a little glass plaque celebrating uh, or recognising that I was a bone marrow donor last, uh, oh no, Maybe three years ago now. Uh, there's a, there is a video on the channel talking about that if you want to see it. There's, I'm sure I'll put a little thing in there somewhere. So this is my birthday card from my auntie from last year. Obviously at the end of season dinner uh, with Neves. And then on the back is Nuno with your two besties. Now across here, sort of a mix between music and football. Lots of well, my favourite bands. And then sort of mixed with football club badges. There's the best example, I think, Kings of Leon with the Olympic Leon uh, badge. So that that little cushion there, <laughs> that was given to me as a present for being uh, my friend's best man at his wedding last August. He gave me that and he gave me this signed picture of Ruben Neves. We come down as well this this picture here of Molyneux from I'd say the late 90s maybe early 2000s uh, with the old North Bank there 
That was given to me by my grandmother as a Christmas present years ago. This one was given to me as a birthday present from way back in 2009. And this was given to me as a birthday present last year by a good friend of mine. And there is me and Nuno again. Up here we've got, uh, I mean I'm not a great runner, but I've done, I've, done, I've actually done more than three. Uh, but there's a few runs I've done. That was at the Olympic Stadium, ran on the track the year after the Olympics, did a five mile run around the, the park and then um, and then finished off doing a lap. That was last September, the first September, did the Banksy 10K around Wolverhampton. And then that was in sort of preparation for the Birmingham Half Marathon, uh, which I finished in just over two hours. And that's the, there the medals for it. That's the 10K and that's the Half Marathon. Planning to do the... Um, Wolverhampton Half Marathon in September as well. And just coming down here, this was, I commissioned a little girl in the school that I work in. I said, can you draw me something? Because she's really good at art. Uh, I think you would agree that's a tremendous piece of artwork. And then a couple of gig tickets that I've been to recently. Noel Gallagher last May. The Clone Roses in the Slade Rooms. And then Paul McCartney, the boss. Paul McCartney in uh, Liverpool. Fantastic. Then these flags, lots and lots of you will have the same flags here. Uh, this is our love and it knows no division. That was given to us when we won League One. Uh, Molyneux Pride, that was the game against Blackburn when we stayed up and the North Bank was being knocked down. I think you can just about make out the sort of design for the ground, the new design for the ground that Steve Morgan had planned, uh, which hasn't quite happened. We are back. That was from last year against Sheffield Wednesday, last home game of the season. They were given to us then. And then we've got all the way over here, 2009, against Doncaster. That's got the game on it as well. Uh, that was the first time, that I think, I remember flags being given out of the Wolves. And then one pack, that was uh, Everton at home. You can see that was a bit dirty because of the rain and stuff on that day. Um, Everton this year, this season. And the last, the final bit... <laughs> These, this will go up on display somewhere uh, but this is coming to Anfield next week there is another flag downstairs put in the comments down below where you think that flag is from uh, the other flag obviously not that one that's Mexico for Raul in case anybody who's interested this is my uh, one of my microphones it's a blue snowball ironically it's black and then some of the some of the kit that I use Rode lavalier microphones. I have to just get the get it out of my pocket. What I'm using now is a Zoom H1 recorder. So you plug the thing in there. You've got to buy one of these little adapters as well. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good piece of kit when I've bothered to do it a lot of this season. And I wish I hadn't. Been very lazy. Just been using my phone for lots of videos, which if you. If you are really interested in that, it's a Samsung Galaxy S9. And one, one final last piece of the picture uh, is a signed wolf shirt from last season uh, when they won the championship. And that's needs to be framed, but I never get around to doing it. So there you have it, a little behind the scenes at uh, Old Gold and Black HQ. If you enjoyed that, then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments section any sort of videos that you would like me to do over the next couple of months. Because obviously I'll be doing my transfer rumours and news and sort of stuff like that. But also, what else would you like me to do? What other sort of stuff do you want to see from this channel? Thanks. Bye-bye.